Good afternoon, everyone. And today is Friday, I believe, 2.30 p.m. Central Time. And today will be an amazing conversation on you are what you eat. So I chose this topic because uh, last couple of weeks we talked about number one importance is your sleep. So I believe nutrition is really number two importance for your health and your life. I am not sure if I'm able to share this video inside our Friends in Health Facebook group, so I am going to do it a little later, unless somebody is going to join right away, and I will ask uh, somebody who knows how to share it in the group. So let's start without further ado. James, you are joining this video. Thank you very much. If you can share this video inside of Friends in Health Facebook group right now, I would really appreciate it. I just I am not able to do it from, from uh, this equipment. And meanwhile, well, thank you so much for joining. My name is Nadia Tach. I'm a certified health, life, and fitness coach. And I help men and women in their 50s to lose stubborn 20 pounds so they can finally fit in clothes they want to fit and keep it this way. Today's conversation is about you are what you eat. Thank you for the like. So this is our continuation on the conversation actually about the sleep. For my philosophy, I believe that sleep is number one importance for your body. And if you're not sure why, you can go to my YouTube channel, The Natural Power 100, and uh, inside the um, live Facebook live list, you will find two videos on sleep. First is benefits of sleep, and another one is what helps me fall asleep and sleep like a baby. Please listen to them and really understand the importance of sleep of your healthy body and um, your healthy life. Thank you, Sharon, for watching, and hello. Thanks, James, and thank you for sharing. So, number two importance for your body and your life is nutrition. The name of this video is You Are What You Eat. You know, when I was preparing for this video, I was, uh, thank you, Bob, for joining. Are you always checking in? Yes. And we are here from Dallas. And um, I was looking back at my life well and around my life, around today, and really um, kind of reflecting on what do I eat? I am teaching you are what you eat. So what do I eat and why do I eat what I eat? Well... Where I found myself is often, and I hear this often enough in our realm of industry is, you know, I can have a cookie for breakfast with milk or ah, kids are having pizza on Saturday or, well, a company is in town or it's a popcorn night or, and then it becomes every day something else. So it's almost like an excuse of not eating healthy or there's a good one. I have been so good, I deserve it, you know, to eat something unhealthy. I think that might be me. <laughs> so there is always something where we actually choose to eat not healthy, even though we know that uh, we are what we eat. Actually, we're going to talk about it in more details, what exactly it means. And another one, I uh, had a live stream on my personal wall yesterday about how sleep affects what you want to eat. So if you lack of sleep, guess what your body is craving? Of course, energy. Guess what it means in terms of your food cravings? Well, it craves something sugary because it gives you immediate release of energy. Guess what you're craving? Something sweet. Cookies or some breads because they give you carbohydrates and they give you a release of sugar. So you're constantly looking for the food that will give will give you an immediate release of energy. Usually it's something unhealthy. Or uh, the fast food often I hear is, I just don't have time, you know, I just drive through something and usually it's fast food because it's available and cheap. So there are so many opportunities to actually have that unhealthy nutrition and in the space that we know that we know that we know have to eat healthy and we just don't do it or we do it occasionally well you are what you eat so i wonder what it means 
for me it means uh, i'm very visual person so i like to compare and i compare it with uh, imagine your body is like a vehicle so you want to get to uh, place a to place b you sit in the vehicle you want to make sure that the vehicle got some fuel that the vehicle is actually functionable good to deliver it to you to where you want to go so there is no difference in well there's a difference but it's a good comparison with um, your body so if you want your body and your health to deliver you where you want to go be healthy to see your grandchildren growing and graduating and getting married you really got to take care of that vehicle that actually is delivering you where you want to go or actually not if you're not taking care so regular maintenance is very important everyday maintenance with uh, technology it's fuel and other things we got to do for our vehicles with our body it's the food it's exercise it's emotional health it's all together so today we are talking about this regular maintenance which is nutrition and interesting fact i believe there are different researchers and facts on um, how long it takes for your cells to replenish so imagine that you do eat some junk food and you say ah tomorrow i'm going to start healthy or you know next meal what you just ate is going to be in your cells for a very long time for the baby it's about seven days cells renew for middle age for us i'm looking actually it's about 30 days i already forgot where i wrote it down well actually that's years that's about seven years for skin cells it's a little different about a month so that's good if you use a good skincare but for the cells of the body it's all seven years is to replenish your cells totally the good thing that you actually can be a new person when you're living a healthy lifestyle eating healthy you will notice the difference and guess what in seven years if you keep doing it on a consistent basis you will be an amazing extraordinary healthy person who has that super engine to deliver you where you want to go faster and more powerful more powerfully all right so let's talk about this maintenance what does it mean for our body well three actually four aspects is protein carbs fats and water we've heard it all we kind of know what exactly it means it means in terms of detail so really let's get to a, a little bit of extra details isn't it it's so important for us there might be a very small little tiny steps but i believe that something you will hear today you can take on to do today all right protein carbs and fats those are our main nutrition that the body is running on and it really depends how many grams and calories depends on you and your own body and your own consumption also it depends what your goal is whether you want to lose weight or you're in heavy sports or running your nutritional intake is individually for you okay if you're not sure where to start the easiest way actually to start or I guess it's available for everyone you can download apps such as we use two apps regularly one of them is lose it just like that lose it exclamation point another one is fit my fitness pal and what you will be able to do there is to track your foods and really be conscious what you're eating and you will see how many calories you consume also you will be able to see your protein carbs and fats usually if you look at your plate and those applications will have that visual for you the plate will be divided into three areas so one third of protein one third of carbs one third of healthy fats and then it according to your body what your needs or where you can adjust the amount of nutrients you consume 
actually just recently and I will be very glad to uh, extend this promotion well when you commit to 30 days of a good basic supplementation with beyond organic products such as um, vitalizer it's the 30 days of all bio optimized nutrients and minerals and the protein by this company Shackley that created actually the very first protein the isolated protein for 30 days if you take this on because of your commitment I will create this nutritional plan for you depending on your goals and also will give you recommendations on your fitness and the applications are really good way to start all right water I believe it's about 90-95% of body that we have water and water is very important. I often get asked what, kind, what, what exactly do I need to drink in order to consume that water. Coffee, no. Tea, no. Sugary drinks, soft drinks is not considered water. What's considered water is no caffeinated, either plain, I recommend filtered water, or if you really really cannot drink so much water and i'll tell you how much just to include uh, sliced uh, pieces of fruits and vegetables in the water i like cucumber and lemon water it just it is beautiful to drink um, something with a flavor plus extra nutrients why not so water is very very important consuming a lot of tea coffee and other drinks is not considered to be water and water is very important so how much the general recommendation is half an ounce per each pound so for example if you weigh 150 pounds you drink about 75 ounces of water plus so 75 ounces is minimum for 150 pounds person okay what do you hear so far please put in the comments are you already drinking enough water do you know how much water you need to drink for yourself are you already using those applications that i mentioned lose it my fitness pal will you be curious to commit to the 30-day nutritional program anything that you would like to share please put in the comments and i will do my best to um, include it in the conversation sharon says i love the lose it app very helpful yay yay so what is it helpful what what kind of aspect of this uh, application is helpful for you sharon all right james i drink too much coffee how much is too much when you say too much how many cups is that that you're saying too much well important sometimes we kind of underlook especially when we don't consciously watch what we eat or calculate our calories get what's guess what sneaks in into our diet snacks well besides the drinks it's actually snacks it's surprised and my 14 year old daughter comes from school and she says mama that's unbelievable i did not know that our house doesn't have that many unhealthy snacks that was good for me as a mom to hear she now uh, has a lot of um, school projects and she visits friends houses and each friend's house has a pantry full of snacks of course most of them unhealthy <laughs> so she was she didn't know that actually our house doesn't have those snacks and they just creep in so fast in our diet, isn't it? And they're so easily accessible. Usually you walk in the store, guess where they're located? Very close to our eye level. Do you know this is out of my <laughs> line, but I have to mention it. The, the book Power of Habit, I believe, um, points that out that in the grocery store, there's actually it's a huge research has been done and now is used for grocery stores where you walk in what you will see is something that really attracts your brain snacks chocolates and the majority of our uh, shoppers usually turn to the right and that's how produce are positioned in the store based on our habits of shopping. Wow. The other one I remember from this book, the healthy foods are usually located 
somewhere before and after our shopping habits so as the unhealthy snacks in our psychology what happens when i shop healthy then i say i shopped healthy i deserved something unhealthy and here it is because marketers already figured it out it will be right there in front of your eyes it is amazing <laughs> Sharon says the app helps me target my protein, fats, and carbs goal per meal. I'm still learning how to reach those specific percentage. Excellent. So let me know if you need any help with that. Bob, I work on having a glass of water by my desk all the time. When I finish, I replenish, go for 10 glasses a day. Awesome. Yes, sometimes I even help ask my um, trainees here to watch me drinking water. So when they work out they if they remember they actually i asked them to remind me drink my water so my goal is uh, one bottle of water through 30 minutes sometimes i do sometimes i don't but it's always in front of me if you're not a water drinker actually it's a good recommendation to physically carry a bottle of water with you and then you'll just get so used to having it next to you that you just physically making yourself drink it that does help also when you commute if you drive to work just have it in the car all the time have it in the car in the car what else do you have to do drive and drink water <laughs> okay so bob is saying stay on the perimeter of the grocery store sharon creative marketing by groceries oh wow well, my goodness if you read the book you will be just totally amazed the power of habit yes uh, a lot of a lot of uh, marketing that I did not know, of course, is being used based on our habits. Okay, so really pay attention on your snacking and make sure you um, kind of switch to healthy snacking. There are plenty of healthy options of snacking. Some of it you probably heard, like healthy nuts and healthy yogurts. Be careful with yogurts, but those will be available. Fruit is always an option as a healthy snack. I also use fresh vegetables as healthy snack. Why not? A little bar of dark chocolate why not and also important point in uh, healthy nutrition you are what you eat please supplement wisely being in nutrition for 10 years I just cannot not mention it in our stressful life our body really gets depleted of vitamin B especially just stress all the time our soils are not as nutrition as they used to be and our produce is not being i mean we see it in the store as uh, nice and shiny polished but do we know how ripe the produce was when it was really picked up for example uh, tomatoes most of the most often they're delivered in the store red but they were not picked up red so how much nutrients do we get from produce right now so why supplementation is uh, really important why i'm saying why is because there are a lot of supplements on on the market so we want to be really attentive and educate ourselves on what we are using for our supplements a really quick recommendation is to educate yourself on three types of supplements synthetic hot process supplements and cold process supplements if you would like to know more let me know it is a very big topic so maybe we'll have another live stream on that topic what do you think if you have any questions please let me know in this link in this video underneath i will put a link to a 15 minute consultation with me so if you have any questions on any of these topics please do ask me it is a very big topic just to cover it in 15 almost 20 minutes by now and before we go i'd like to give you a little fun experiment as a homework you may ask me well maybe i eat healthy maybe not i don't know what's kind of gives me a good energy where can i tweak without just going too crazily changing everything so here's a fun experiment we call it high and low energy foods so we're going to find out which foods give you energy and which foods give your energy away. You can actually even write it down if you have a piece of paper and a pen in front of you. So you can write down what foods take my energy away. And on the second portion of the page, what foods give me energy. So your experiment is 
change nothing in your eating and when you have a meal whether it's snack or a meal mm -hmm. about 20 minutes after the meal ask yourself a question how am i feeling am i feeling energized or am i feeling sluggish if your answer is energized that food gave you energy write down that food in the column where you ask which foods give me energy if you feel a little sluggish i don't know just uh, not sure maybe this food is not so much giving you healthy energy so maybe you want to put it in the column where this food takes my energy away well giving you an example when i eat pizza i do really like it but i know 20 minutes after eating pizza i will notice kind of yuck so i know that food takes my energy away then it's my choice whether i eat it or not but i know what result it's going to give me to summarize please consider that nutrition food you are is what you eat it's for your regular maintenance of your body it's like a vehicle that delivers you where you want to go do you want to be in one place and really be angry and frustrated at yourself on for not improving or you really want to go where you want to go and reach your goals so maintain your body properly with proper nutrition know your carbs know your proteins know your healthy fats know how much water you need to drink it is very important pay attention what you eat pay attention what snacks you eat supplement wisely and know what foods give you energy and what foods give your energy away how does it sound what was your main appreciation from this conversation please put it in the comments i'm really really looking forward so if you like topic like this you can subscribe to my youtube channel the natural power 100 best videos are uploaded there so usually once a week or more also you can receive my newsletter through nadiatouch.com slash newsletter always have to think about it <laughs> and please join our group and invite those who need daily motivation and inspiration friends in health it is closed but free group and um, i did mention for the 30-day commitment to your foundational wellness program with good vitamins and minerals and the protein and also if you have any questions i will put a link to 15-minute consultation